Hey guys, um, so what am I showing here? Well, a lot of rye grain, hairy vetch. You can see the hairy vetch in there, clovers. There's some sedge grass, um, some undesirables. But the reason I want to highlight this is a lot of times people say, you know, you can't broadcast because of seed to soil contact or you're going to lose so much to predation or whatever. But when you have a layer of biomass like this, I'm just trying to show you down in here. Hopefully you can kind of see. But I just broadcast this 10 acres here. I can't even, I mean, I can't even find a seed. Now I'm sure they're around. I mean, small seeds, clovers, oats, which oats is fairly decent size. Um, it would be more difficult, excuse me, with, um, you know, beans and peas, things like that. Uh, I would say if you only did bees and peas um, or beans that are Roundup ready, you'd have to go really heavy. Um, on a seeding rate and then I would imagine that <clears throat> spraying maybe two to three weeks after you have some germination would help or even rolling the field would also help but when you're doing just like a like a pasture mix as I keep referring to it you know clover sunflower um, buckwheat uh, oats spring oats I'm not worried I just want that seed to fall down here now I have rain coming that rain's going to drive that seed further down in it's going to be protect protected from the predation when you have biomass like this hairy vetch here that's growing and it's tangly and the deer are going to come in they're going to nip it off and uh, nip off some of the rye right and and things like that uh, and the turkeys will be in here and they'll take some seed uh, surely but uh, if now if this was barren if I had tilled this all and it was just dirt and then I seeded and didn't pack it um, you, it would be much more difficult right specifically with bigger seeds right you're just looking for um, a way for people to, you know, not people, but uh, predators, right, birds and things like that, just uh, to steal that seed. So just a quick tip is don't be afraid to try different things. A lot of people told me, oh, you'll never get buckwheat to get established in, a, in an already established clover field. That was about two or three years ago. I said, all right, let's try it. And I seeded, and I seeded light, um, maybe like 30 pounds to the acre. And sure as heck, I had buckwheat all over that clover field. Now, was it a solid stand? No, but I didn't want a solid stand. I wanted buckwheat in between the clover right I wanted the legume and I wanted the buckwheat uh, doing all the soil building that it does and, and working to make phosphorus uh, micro or bioavailable and uh, it worked out really really well and I've just kind of continued to grow on that and, and learned a lot more from a lot um, of very smart people by reading and listening to podcasts and things like that and then also uh, by establishing a um, a good amount of biomass here and then seeding right into it overseeding man my time if I didn't get the tractor stuck my time is is maybe one third to one half of what it used to be um, seeding food plots now eventually if I get a drill it'll actually slow me down uh, a little bit from seeding but of course then your your germination rate is going to go up significantly and you can do some neat things with the drill which is uh, just kind of a lot of fun um, but we'll see if I ever get to that point but uh, as of right now, I'll try to keep you guys updated. I'm not going to have a lot of videos coming for a little while. Uh, my wife is due, um, well, is it May yet? Almost May. So she's due in June. So probably won't be uh, doing much farm work now. I mean, but that's kind of the beauty of this is I don't need to. I just want biomass to be made until about August, and I'm going to seed my mix in. So um, hopefully this just grows like a son of a gun and feeds, uh, feeds some deer and some birds and gives them cover going to be really good fawning cover here in, a, in the next month because it'll be about chest high and uh yeah we'll, we'll keep after it guys keep building soil thank you for tuning in build better soils <laughs>